Hey, Nick here from Thrive. I just want to show you how to create a landing page with Aweaver. Let's say you're just wanting to create a quick squeeze page, a page where you've got a product or a voucher, for example, a freebie for your restaurant or your dental practice or any type of service for your local business. Then after selecting choose a landing page in the page builder, you can select from the range of them like I did there. You can upload your logo. Um, I've already got a few loaded up, so you can just pop your logo on the top. This is really just drag and drop, swapping things around. You can go to page here, you can click on background, and you can actually remove the image at the back there. You can change the color of the background. You can really change anything that you want inside of this platform. So let's say, for example, that you're a restaurant and you're actually wanting to deliver uh free fries with every pizza order then you may put the background image of pizza for example maybe a high quality image this one's slightly out of quality for the size um, you could say here free fries with every pizza order um, you want to tell them here what they need to do in order to get that those free fries so you know simply order a pizza on tuesdays and get a free fries thrown in on us when you when you use this voucher. Um, and then simply enter your name and email below. You maybe want to put a call to action like, hey, Christchurch residents, if you're living in Christchurch, we're doing something crazy. We're giving away a free fries when you, there you go, order a pizza on Tuesdays. Um, yeah, and you can just play around with it, see what you like. You can put some other things in here. So you can see it's just a drag and drop builder, really simple. This here is hooked up to whatever email list that you have added. Perhaps you want to make the name and the email required input so that way you make sure they get their their name so you can customize the emails that you're sending to them. So you got their name at the top there. Um, there's a lot of different sections you can play with here. Maybe you don't want that image in the background, you just want to keep it clean. Um, these social media, you can put your Facebook page in there just by editing the link here. If you want other things, then what I, if you want other elements in the page, what I'd suggest is you scroll through the different pages they have available and you, you edit the pages that they already have as opposed to trying to build something from scratch, which is just it's a lot quicker to use the templates they've already got. They have a lot of different templates. Um, and this drag and drop element box here allows you to be able to, you know, for example, add an extra text at the top here. Some extra text. Um, you can add an image in, for example, if there's you know a particular image that you want to add in. Um, like I said, I've got images already loaded, so well, there's a picture of me. Um, if you want to put in a video, say you're telling people to do something, you can simply put in the URL video, the URL of the YouTube video at the top there, and that's automatically going to populate once you put it into this wee box here. It's going to put the video up, so you might not want that image. You might just want to have the video there underneath the text with, you know, what you guys are up to. You might want to clear that out of the way. And you might want to change the button color as well. So you just click the button here. Um, and you can just change the color. Maybe you want it to be red. And you want the hover to be like a dark red. So you just swap that over there. And pretty simple. Apart from that, the form is already loaded. You can put another social footer in the bottom there. Maybe you want it to be larger and you want it to be centered in the middle. In that case, you might delete the existing footer that's already in there. Um, but as you can see, just want to keep this video more of a crash course. It's a really simple editor to use. You can use landing pages like ClickFunnels um, or landing pages or insta pages or unbounce or any of these other ones however they're not free for the first 500 subscribers usually they charge you at least 80 dollars us a month so aweaver allows you to be able to build all this out and use it um, for free until you get to your first 500 subscribers so i definitely recommend aweaver give it a go try using the link 
in the bottom of this video which goes through my affiliate link just to support my work and tutorials and I look forward to seeing you on another video.